Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, what I hope will be a very short and sweet video about uh, painting cars and iRacing. So I kind of figured this out by accident the other day, I was thinking about it and uh, I figured out a way that you can grab someone's paint from Trading Paints, make a few little edits to it if you wanted to do and then upload it to race that um, on your own car sort of thing. So we'll jump straight into sharing my screen, so I'll be down there in the bottom left corner guiding you through it and uh, chatting you along. So let's jump straight into it. All right, so let's say for argument's sake that you were uh, browsing on Trading Paints earlier and you saw this fantastic looking Porsche LMDH um, kind of mimic or replica, um, but you decided you wanted to put a big pink stripe down the middle or something like that. So first thing you need to do is just click to race this paint. It's easy enough. But then what we'll find once we go into the, um, back into the UI is that it doesn't automatically load onto our car. So there's our car, you can see it's not it's not loading, it's not doing anything. Click on paint car. It's still just a blue. So what we need to do is really quickly jump into a test session. It doesn't matter where you go to test. I like to try and find the shortest track I can, like Alton Park or um, a short oval works pretty well as, as well, to be honest. Find the car that you're looking for, um, that you're painting, so the Delara. Like I say, I'm just at Alton, the short layout. And then while this loads, if you haven't already, um, download GIMP, which is completely free, or if you've got Photoshop, which is uh, significantly not free, or any other kind of image editor that will open a .tga, uh, or a targa file. All right, so we just load into our session, and we'll jump into the car just to uh, hopefully have the paint loaded onto our car. There we go, you can see it's updated, so jump back out of the car, you can jump onto some form of a... Um, like an external camera just to make sure. So yeah, it's definitely there. So what I want to do is go into your um, your folder where your paints are stored. So for me, it's just in documents, iRacing, and then paint. Find the car that you're painting. So it's the Delara P217. And then you need to know your um, iRacing ID number. So I know that mine is 6075... No, I don't. 568, is it? <laughs> I'll know it when I see it. 607... 856, there we go. So you're going to need this file um, in order to, to edit the paint. And because there's probably a spec map on this file as well, it'd be useful to grab a car spec and then your... Oh, there isn't a spec map on it, that's a surprise. Okay, well, if there was a spec map as well, you'd want to grab the spec map um, and just make a copy of that um, ready for later, because what will happen is as soon as we jump out of this session, we're going to lose this file and this is the one that we need. So I'll just make a new folder. And we'll just throw that in there. And that's where you put your um, spec map as well, if you had one. So let's double click on that and that should open GIMP and we'll quit out of the test drive. So <laughs> there's our paint job. It's looking absolutely flamboyant. Now this might be a bit bamboozling if you've not worked with paints very much um, previously. But the first thing we'll do is... Um, We'll go into the UI and just load up the car, my content, find the Delara again. What we should find now is that the paint is on the car. We won't yet because what we need to do first, if you go into um, GIMP again, file, export as, or you can uh, control shift and E for echo. Paste this, uh, or sorry, save this as a .tga car, your iRacing number .tga. And this will just, um, if it's a, <coughs> excuse me, if there's a paint already in there, it'll overwrite it. Um, because like I said, when we quit out of that session, it deleted our paints. So that's why it didn't load straight away. Now I can see it's there. So if this is all looking like absolute double dutch to you, what you can do is just download the template here from, uh, from the UI. We'll open it and uh, just double click that. And this should also open now as GIMP, but um, in like a separate file inside GIMP. Here we go. Um, so this should be the exact same template as, um, as this one that we've just got from Trading Paints. So what we can do, just open up this, uh, this sort of red section, this turn off before exporting, and uncover this wire. And what we're going to do, if we can get this right first time, is um, use Control and A for Alpha, highlight everything, and then Control C for Charlie, and then paste that in, and we'll make that a new layer. Now this is a bit of a side note, but because the wire is white and it's quite a sort of, there's a lot of white on the car, we're going to use this select by colour, click on the white on this wire layer. I like to use a nice obnoxious colour, although we're going to paint the car pink because that's not going to work. Let's go for green. Zoom all the way back out, grab your paintbrush, maximum size, 
and that'll just make our wire green so we can see it over the um, over the car instead. So that's still pretty difficult to understand, so let's grab the mask while we're there as well. We might just be able to grab the whole layer, paste that in, there we go. So now we've got the mask and the wire, so we can sort of see easier what's, uh, what's happening. So we can see that this is kind of the center line of the car, so I'm just going to grab the um, rectangular select. Go from the middle to, let's say, that outside edge there. Do the same thing on the other side. And then drag that all the way to the back of the car. Cool, so then make sure you've got the right layer selected because we've just been messing around adding in the wire and the mask. So we'll select car instead. Change the brush colour to that nice vibrant pink that we said about. Grab the paintbrush again and paint it in. Now what we'll need to do just before I export it is turn off the mask and the wire layer. And because we already exported it earlier using the control shift and E, this time we can just use control and E, which will just overwrite the existing file. And now when we head back into the UI, we've got that nice pink stripe. So we've grabbed our paint from Trading Paints, we've edited the file, and now we've got this instead. So if we did want to, uh, if we were happy with that, what we'd do would be to uh, head back into Trading Paints. Go to My Paints, and what I'm racing, oh, well, we're clicking all over. Find the car that we just painted, which is the Delara. And then to Paint Options, we'd choose a new paint, upload a paint, select a file, and then we can find that's the wrong one, so make sure you're in the right car if you've been painting a lot. Um, so Delara, could maybe even arrange that by modified, yeah, so that's the one we've just done. Open that. What we should see is this is now the exact same template, but with our pink stripe down the middle. So if there was a spec map um, from before when we copied it, we could then add the spec map. We've got a cat. Hello cat. <laughs> oh dear. You like to be famous, don't you? We could add the spec map, um, select a file, and into that backup folder that we made earlier. The spec map would just be sitting in there if we'd made one. <laughs> it's not, so we don't need to worry about it. So that is uh, sort of that's our job done here with editing a file that we found from Trading Paints. So there you go. Hope that was useful. I know uh, previous video that I did about painting cars in uh, in GIMP for iRacing was sort of one of my most popular videos on the channel. So uh, yeah, I'm planning on doing a few more um, kind of tutorials about painting cars on iRacing. So if you want to see more sort of straight from beginner using GIMP for the first time and painting your very first car to uh, sort of more advanced designs, then hit the subscribe button and there's some racing uh, racing going on in the channel as well. So come for the paint, stay for the racing. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this one. So if you did enjoy it, drop it a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment. Or if you didn't enjoy it, then tell us why you didn't enjoy it. Like I say, subscribe if you're new and uh, you want to see more like this. But other than that, take it easy, look after yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.